Hey everyone, it's early May and we're doing a six week update on this culvert we unclogged. This is Connecticut and by driving by, it looks like the beavers have not built back yet. This area of Connecticut, look at this, just starting to grow leaves. Today's actually the eighth of the month. Within a few weeks, all these trees should be full of leaves. It's nice and warm out today, around 60 degrees. Something there big just jumped in the water. A lot of bones on the side of the road too. So there's a small pond here now. The water still dropped back. Beavers never built back. So it looks like, yes, the beavers did get relocated by the Department of Fish and Game or the Department of Transportation. Because check it out. Not one thing has been put back. Now, when we came here to unclog this six weeks ago, the water was up to this dirty line. So the water only dropped back around 14 or 18 inches. By the evidence here, especially considering how far up there the swamp goes, this thing has been four feet deeper than you're seeing. And four feet would be the water there up to the top of the road. First time I ever found this place. The water was flowing over the top. You see right there is one of their failed ideas. That long pipe they stick inside the culvert right down here with that T there, which I'm assuming used to have grates on it to try to confuse the beavers. That stuff does not work. It's just a pain in the butt. It's more difficult to unclog than what you have here. They need a better grating system like a triangular grate. They could use a tube that goes all the way out to a giant cone structure, that would work also really good. But then that's more maintenance of, well, it's less maintenance as far as, you don't have to come out nearly as often, every month or two, rather than every week with the beavers. But you gotta send someone way out there in a, a full body suit, which is a pain in the butt. Right here, how this rebar kicking around is more of their failed ideas. You see these signposts, which would have had a bunch of fencing around them. Now we're gonna quickly cross the street. Look at the other side. If you guys remember last time we were here, there was ducks. Skunk cabbage coming out, that stuff's real. Whoa! Oh, 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 that duck scared me so much. I purposely didn't post that video for a month after its production because there's bad people out there that you never know what they could do if they recognize the area. That's why I don't give out any locations of this stuff. It'll just cause somebody untrained to get hurt on the culvert because they can be dangerous when they're blasting like this one was about a month ago. But happy to see, yes, the duck is gone. Ducks only stay in the nest for an average of 28 days. And assuming they were already there a week or two, yeah, they were long gone. It's a really nice place to sit down. Very beautiful. When we released this culvert about six weeks ago, all this stuff was underwater. It was pretty awesome. A lot of those sticks right there are things we unplugged. Let's go take a look at the duck's nest. There's no duck here. As soon as ducklings leave the nest, they don't come back. They're out on an adventure with the mother. So this round thing here is the nest. Wow, there's a ton of duck eggs in there. Can you see how many there really are? There's a bunch of them. And it's good to see this culvert is in perfect condition. Let's do some investigating around the swamp to confirm the beavers are gone. I'd say there's a pretty good chance of it since they didn't build back. They can't resist. When we were here last time, it was kind of cold, but they should have been still active. If there's not ice in the pond, beavers are usually active. Even super duper far up north near the Canada border, beavers are already active. 
they came out as soon as the ice melted. There's so much, so many dams going up around the Canada border. Back about 50 feet or so, there's a makeshift trail here that some homeless fella, you can tell, used to use. There's a bucket there maybe for pooping and there's a bunch of various clothing and chairs also. Give you guys a look at this. And this you could tell was many years ago. Some homeless person was here. There's multiple sets of clothing. Some beer cans. Either someone cleaned it up or this person was respectful who was staying here. You see their little camp right here? Got a really old fashioned chair, which is pretty cool. Got a newer plastic chair. They did a good job cleaning up their campsite. And this is like a perfect spot. Wow. Cause look, you got this big hill here, which acts as a noise buffer from the road. You got a decently flat spot here to put up tents. It's a pretty nice place to camp out. And if you really are hurting for finding food, you could probably find some creatures here. And in the summertime, I'm sure there's berries and other stuff to eat. We're gonna walk out here into the marsh. Oh, the black flies are out. Those things are uh, pretty annoying. Walking on this dead tree, cause this mud is pretty deep. Oh, I got a frog. All right, I'm looking at elevation right here. So last week or last month when we were here, hey, there's even some metal posts sticking out way up here. They had some kind of structure here also. Maybe there used to be a beaver dam here and they had a flow structure going through it. So it went back up somewhere else. But before we unplug that, this area right here would have had water only up to about here or so that if that thing was to gain 18 inches of water looking at the elevation we'd be about up to here this log would be almost completely submerged now you see here when the beavers really get active in the summer before the last time the dot actually did it you could tell it was way up there a couple feet even if the water was up there, it wouldn't be crossing the road. That's only about two, maybe two and a half feet of elevation. And it looks like it would take about four to start crossing the road. But just a couple feet of water will start causing damage to the road if it wasn't built to be in this area. Because water seepage under the road can slowly wash it out. You're not meant... Uh, road's not meant to be a dam. This right here is an old abandoned beaver lodge. That's pretty cool too. Now over there there's a small lodge we were looking at last time. Up there's some uh, train tracks. Walking back on this log. So this part over here doesn't look like it's seen water and probably since last summer cool so this whole thing would become a swamp if they didn't keep the beavers in check anyways everyone i hope today's video was interesting thanks for watching and have a great day